Hi everyone, welcome to Maximum Attack Rallying. As you can see, we're outside today. How exciting. Big things happening in this video. A little bit later on, we will be going on a bit of a road trip to a new uh, motorsport venue here in Saudi Arabia for the grassroots motorsport community. Excited about that. But first, something even more exciting. So, about a year ago, almost a year ago, I think 11 months ago, I bought this 208 GT, which you can see in the background, Woo! Uh, as a daily driver. And ever since then, probably since I bef before I bought it, I've been wanting to give it some rally flavor. And that is exactly what is happening in this video. And what better way to start your modification journey with a car than with a set of wheels? I've known for a while what wheels I wanted to fit to this car. And I know a lot of you will be screaming at your screens saying, fit steels, you've got to fit steels like an old school uh, 205 or 106 rally. It crossed my mind. Since before I bought this car, I had a vision and I knew exactly what wheels I wanted to fit to it. And that's what's happened at last. At last we have the wheels done. They are on the car right now. But I'm gonna make you wait a little bit longer before you see them. Let's roll back the clock, let's turn back the clock, travel back in time, unpack things and see a special delivery. And then you'll get a taste of what wheels were fitted maybe in a little bit later in the video you'll see them on the car so let's roll back the clock as i said let's get unpacking okay let's do it let's go into the storage room get that door open a bit messy in here sorry lights on oh yeah there we go mm -mm -mm. that is some speed line goodness can you believe this is the first time i've ever bought new wheels don't look at the label that'll give it away I think let's just jump right in to getting these bad boys open. Okay, so we have a knife. This is very difficult. I need a cameraman, I think. I need a cameraman for this. Let's cut through this stuff here. Come around here and cut through this stuff here. Ooh, this is exciting. First time opening a brand new wheel box. Bad boys came all the way from the UK. Let's give a shout out to Speedline in the UK. Uh, they made it so easy. So, so easy. And they're not paying me to say that. They just made it super easy. The shipping was a real pain and they were super, super helpful. So huge shout out to Speedline. But without any further ado, let's do this bit. Oh. getting a bit of a taster now. Let's get that bit out of the way. Get that bit out of the way. Get that bit out of the way. And that bit. Ready? Oh, look at those. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, that is so cool. How does this come off? How does this come off? Look at that. Oh man, I love these wheels. I've had these wheels before on my uh, Clio 197 in the UK. Oh, look at that. Man, that is so cool. I think you've probably guessed where this is going. So uh, I wanted to give the car some rally flavor and what better way, that is just us, uh, to give it rally flavor than to fit the same wheels they use on the 208 Rally 4. These are the road going versions, but they look basically the same. They'll obviously have a center cap and the offset is slightly different than things but mm, 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 so nice man I can't wait to get these on the car what we need to do before we unpack the rest of these is do a little test fit because uh, I want to make sure that they actually fit now they should fit so uh, these are 4x108 which is uh, has been Peugeot four stud fitment forever same as Ford four stud uh, fitment as well um, and also, the center bore of the wheel in here should be like stock Peugeot. So I'm hoping that will bolt straight up. There's wheel bolts in there, so obviously we want to check those. Uh, also, the important thing is the offset. Uh, I am not a fitment boy, but uh, these are ET16, 17 by 7. And the standard wheels are uh, 17 by 7 ET32. So we're going to go 16 mil wider. On the rear, uh, if you ever looked at a 208, that won't be a problem because the rear wheels are really tucked in, but uh, the front is uh, not wide wide, but uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how these fit on the front and um, 
how much closer to the uh, to the arches it brings us. So let's go and do that. Let's go and jack the car up, take a wheel off, and just put this on without a tire just to see how it fits. And then we can think about unpacking all the others, having the tires swapped over and putting them on the car, which is what we're all here for. Okay, so you can see we've got a wheel on. I've tried to lift the arm a bit to get it kind of in position. Well, you can see, when you come around to the front of the car, it is close, man. From what I can see, having tried to measure it, the face of the wheel is pretty much level with the arch. So, I think it'll be fine at standard ride height, but if I lower the car, it might be problematic. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I think the problem is there's only one way to find out, isn't there? And that is to put the put a tire on it and, and actually put it on the car. Um, but it is close, man. Like I said, I'm not a stance dude, but yeah, width wise. Coming in from the top, right? It is close. It is the next day. Uh, I'm not gonna show you my face because I've literally just come straight back from the gym and got into this. But as you can see, if we look in the car, we've got a box in the back. And scooching around to the side, boxes on the back seat. Little box on the front seat. We are good to go. All the wheels are in the car and you know what that means. That means we're going to the tire fitting place and we are gonna do this thing. So we're either in for awesome fitment or a disaster. Stay tuned, I think, stay tuned. Let's see what happens at the tire place. And uh, I might just get them to do one and then see how we go, one of the fronts, but let's get there and see if they'll even do it because they might not want to do the job. Who knows? Never had tires fitted in Saudi Arabia before, so that is gonna be an experience. Mm -hmm. So it's the next day. The sun is shining, kind of. It's kind of windy here, a bit sandstormy today. Um, you can see though, the wheels are on and oh my God, don't they look good. The fitment is spot on. Like I said, they're ET16, factory is ET32. They are quite wide on the front. I'll show you some B-roll so you can get a sense of that. But I love them. They're so, so cool. They look so, so nice. Exactly what I wanted. Like I said, I had an image of what I wanted the car to look like and it looks perfect. Uh, they did, as you can see in the video, they did check the alignment, which was out a little bit, toe was out, uh, it was towing out instead of towing in, and uh, the camber was slightly wrong. Why can't manufacturers get the geometry right from the factory? Blows my mind. Anyway, they corrected that, and what we did notice is that there is a little bit of adjustment uh, where the damper bolts to the uh, upright, so you can tweak the camber a little bit. So, if we lower the car, we can gain a little bit of camber if there are clearance problems. I don't think there will be. I've ordered, giving away a little secret here, I've ordered some eyeback springs for it. They will lower it about 30 mil, so it'll do a bit of a drop. That'll uh, 
half the arch gap roughly, half the arch gap. So we're not talking mega low. The roads here are very potholed, so you wouldn't want to go lower than that. And to be honest, like I said, I'm not a stance guy. This is supposed to be rally inspired, so I don't want to go super low and make it look silly. So we'll lose about half the arch gap and we shouldn't have any clearance issues. If we do, which is very unlikely, we can tweak the camber a little bit just to give it a bit more, but I don't think that'll be necessary. The wheels, oh, it's spot on, it looks so good. I'll put in some B-roll, but I think the thing that we need to do right now is go and get some proper beauty shots. And that is where today's road trip comes in. As I said at the top, we're going on a little trip to a uh, new grassroots motorsport location here, uh, just outside Jeddah, a place called Asfan. Um, it's about an hour from home. Uh, so we're gonna see what it's like. It's not finished yet. Hopefully it'll be finished soon, but I thought you might like to get a little taste of grassroots motorsport here. So we'll go and do that. And most importantly, we'll get some cool shots of that now the wheels are on. So let's hit the road that way. So welcome, welcome to Vida La Vida. <laughs> After the little road trip, this is where we have ended up. Uh, I'm gonna put lots of B-roll in here just to explain. So this is a new motorsport venue, hopefully being created here uh, in Saudi Arabia, just outside Jeddah in a place called Asfan. As you can see, if you look behind me, we're on top of a mountain. So it is quite a place. The sun is going down over there. It is very beautiful. I'll try and get some video of the car in a second before the sun goes down too far. It's an amazing place. This. If this comes off, it will be incredible. So it'll have space for drifting behind me through there. We're in like an events area right now. There should be cafe, restaurant, uh, time attack, drag racing, drifting. So it could be a really impressive place. We've just come for a little road trip behind me over there. Other cars that we've come up in, so the Peugeot, uh, Camaro, the, my old Clio, interestingly, is behind there. I'll get some B-roll of that as well, shall we? And some other guys as well just that have come up to check it out and have a look. It is a very, very impressive place. I can't remember the area exactly, but it's very, very big. Uh, if you're into um, Japanese stuff, uh, Sakupa circuit would fit on top of this mountain that we're on right now. So that give you a, a bit of an idea of the scale of it. So it's definitely an interesting project. More to follow on that though, I think, as it comes together, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to get some beauty shots of the Peugeot. So let's do that right now. <laughs> So that is that, the sun is going down, it's getting dark. As you can see behind me, the sun is disappearing. The car is looking awesome. I am so pleased. I said this earlier, but I cannot tell you how happy I am with the wheels. The style, the look, the color, the fitment is absolutely spot on. Maybe we'll add some spaces to the rear, but I don't know, I kind of like it. I think it's, it's a really good look, especially once the springs get here. Bit of a shame that they're taking a long time, but they're made to order because obviously not many people modify this generation of Peugeot. Uh, but I do want to give a big shout out to Speedline in the UK. They have been a massive, massive help with the wheels, uh, just with sorting out the fitment and the uh, and the shipping. Ship, getting parts shipped to here to Saudi is quite difficult. So they made, uh, made that really, really easy. So big shout out to them. Uh, obviously, if you're in the UK or in Europe, you won't have that problem. So do check out the Speedline website. They're not paying me to say this, but I just, oh, Speedline are one of my favorite wheel manufacturers. If you think about all the awesome like rally wheels they've made over the years 
a lot of which you can still buy. You know, they do uh, Clio Group A wheels, Impreza Group A wheels, loads and loads of cool wheels. And I'm already looking at more. I shouldn't be, but I'm already looking at more. I'm wondering what I can fit to the four-door Escort, what wheels they do for the Escort rally car. So yeah, that could get expensive. He'll be fine, we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, as always, you know the score. Please like, comment, subscribe, keep supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And keep your eye out for the next video and I will see you again next time.